whole idea of the Brilliant Bristol project is about raising the levels of happiness and confidence and positivity amongst the children of Bristol. Because um, it won't have escaped your notice that quite often kids get a bad press. And it's alright, schools are very good at, at uh, producing kids who are very bright academically. But as we know, being clever isn't, isn't everything. You can be really clever, but if you're not confident and you're not kind and you're not passionate and you're not full of energy or happiness, then actually life will pass you by. So this is about character strengths matching up with um, academic ability. I'd had the pleasure of listening to Andy and uh, was just so inspired by um, a the simplicity of his message but but with that came the complexity of the incredible impact I could see it might have and I was thrilled when the project kind of secured funding and was aimed at year five. I could just see that this was something that offered them a wonderful opportunity to really think about themselves, their dreams, their aspirations, and also to learn to take some responsibility for the impact that they can have on other people's feelings, on other people's things that happen in their life, um, and through that kind of gain the confidence themselves about um, who they are and what, that they can achieve anything. Well, it sounded really fun. It sounded like something the kids would really enjoy. It's important. Um, we think it's really important here at our school that we teach kids maths, we teach kids English, we also teach them a broad balanced curriculum and they have lots of opportunities to do things like this and it fits very much with our values curriculum that we have in place at school as well. So um, we've kept most of the work this year around year five just and then in the last two weeks all of the year five children in small groups planned and delivered presentations to all of the other classes as a way of explaining to them what they were doing and encouraging them to do it and that was a wonderful experience. In, the, in our whole school every class has chosen three random acts of kindness that they came up with, that the children came up with and voted because democracy, British values are very important. Um, so they voted on and they've been doing those in their own way all through the day. Well, I've been completely wowed today. I mean, we've been doing, a, we started in College Green with the, uh, the, lots of kids doing random acts of kindness, giving out sweets and chocolates and flowers to passers-by. And you can visibly see people receiving flowers and walking off with a smile on their face. And the shortest way, the easiest way to be, make yourself happy is to do a, an act of kindness for somebody else. So random act of kindness was one of the main themes of the project. And it's great to see the kids actually proving that being happy is not only good for you, it's good for the community. So we've got loads of different things going on, so we've had kids down um, at the City Library um, depositing bookmarks that they've made, hiding them in books as a surprise with nice positive messages on them. We've got kids at the moment out and about on the streets around the school, um, leaving presents on people's doorsteps for when they come home. We've got kids putting nice messages on car window screens. We've got our Year 6s um, are just about to go off to the bakery and leave a pot of money with some nice notes so that when people turn up to pay, their, their sandwich is paid for them. And um, loads of different things going on like that. Most of the outside activities have been focused or led by Year 5. So again, they were given the choice and they came up with all sorts of amazing activities. And um, really high on the list was the opportunity to go into Westbury Village because we do a lot within the school community already, visiting old people's homes and all sorts of things, singing. And they love singing. So they decided to do flash mob, but they also had approached shops with the teachers and asked permission if they could go and pack bags or just come in and say hello to people. So um, that's what they've been doing. The thing that we can learn how to be happy, and that's the whole the science of happiness, is about studying happy people. I've, for 10 years I've been studying happy people, following them around, trying to find out the secrets and then sharing them as part of Brilliant Bristol. And it's so important, not only will you live longer and be healthier, um, but you are much more likely to do well academically, be have more friends, um, and have stronger relationships and get a better career. So it's almost, you can't put a value on happiness, it is off the scale. There's a huge number of benefits of doing a project like this. I think it's totally caught the kids' imagination. Um, they're talking about all the language that Andy's been using loads. It's, it's spread, it's contagious, it's spread right across the school and, and beyond actually. I've got parents coming into me now saying, what is this two percenter thing, Mr Lacey? I keep being told to be a two percenter. So that's a lovely thing. The general atmosphere in the school's been excited. Um, it's just happiness
us everywhere, radiating. Everybody's smiling. Um, everybody we meet seems to be smiling. So it's been really, really lovely. And I think it's about building resilience. It's about developing lifelong learning skills. It's about being lovely human beings. And the world's a complicated place now. So I think for many children, they need that really strong sense of themselves and, and, and those really simple values, which again, as a Church of England school, we work really hard to try and make sure are absolutely integral to everything we do. Find time for it, it's important. Um, there's more to life than just learning maths and English, important as those things are, um, and you'll find it rewarding and it will be a satisfying thing to do. Yeah, definitely. It has a huge impact, I think, on a community that starts with the school community but then goes outwards. So absolutely wonderful and we'll definitely continue next year and it's rolling right out across the school. So it'll be a really important part of what we do. But what we would like to say, if we can break the world record and we can do this 8,300, whatever it is, then actually our message is to the rest of the world, come and take us on, come and have a go if you think you're happy enough. And wouldn't it be great if Bristol sets the, sets the bar up there and then maybe New York, maybe Tokyo, yeah, we'll take anybody on. <laughs>